thing, what I want, actually what I would want is starting at the one, Dennis Smith Jr. Now, is RJ a small forward or shooting guard? I think we talked about this later. Like, I say he's a three. Probably a three this year. Yeah. Because I would like to be RJ, Knox, and RJ, Knox, and Mitch. That should be your front court going forward, right? Next, and then who do we put at the two? I mean, I think that could be one at training camp. Like whether it be Dot, Nick, 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 So you have Juju coming off the bench. Huh? You have Juju ah, coming off see, the bench. That's what I want. No, let's talk about what I want. What do you think? Um, so obviously, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna, can't, he's gonna eat shots with these guys. Um, yep. What, what I think it's gonna be, obviously, Mitch is starting at center. Julius Randle at the four. I would think Knox is gonna continue to start at the three. Um, Dennis Smith Jr. at the at the one, and then I don't know who at the two. What about Morris? I think Morris come off the bench. Think so? I, I, I think he's gonna come off the bench, but I think he should start over Knox. No, I just don't know how you do that, like how you, how you have to start, you know, all of a sudden like, you're like, this person is our development going forward, but no, he, no, we just signed this guy who signed here for one year deal, so you got to stick. Doesn't make much sense. True. I think true, I mean, I like true, I think Trier is the, is the most talented two of them all, but he, um, I like him off the bench. I like him as a smart book. My star lineup, I would have to say Dennis Smith at the this one. This is what you want. This is what I want. Dennis Smith at the one, at the one. RJ at the two. Knox at the three. Got to finish somebody's uh, space for the floor. Uh, uh, Randall at the four, and Mitch at the five. When you said that um, you think Randall could take minutes away from some of the young guys, I think Not Randall can be part of our future. I think that he could be a mainstay. You know what I mean? Like I, I think he could be the second best player on, on a really good team. And Knox, I mean, I'm sorry, Barrett could ascend to being the best player on his team. This is everything goes right as planned. You know what I mean? Like so, I think that there's a there's a place in the future for for Randall. You know, so I don't have a problem with him being a, the focal point of our offense. But uh, I think floor spacing is important. So you need you need Knox, somebody who's a knockdown shooter, as opposed to um, Morris in the starting lineup. I like to play Morris as the backup power forward. And Yikes. and and, and yeah. I agree, but I don't know how they're gonna get that. Playing yeah. back up, back yeah. forward. I agree. I, know. So I don't know how they're gonna get that. And, and have um, Gibson only playing spot minutes at the center, depending mm -hmm. on who we play, mm -hmm. right? If if we need a guy to physically play against uh, Embiid mm -hmm. or Harford or you know some of these big bulky guys, if not, then we can have Bobby Portis exclusively at the back of five, right? And at the three, that's when we can slide in in the small lineup. Wayne Ellington can play the backup three, or Dotson can play the backup three. Like they both. Played some at, some at the three last year, and then that's where you can have Trey as a backup two to so, um, so RJ, and then I want to see Frank as a backup. You know what I mean? Please, Lord. But I don't see I don't see a world where Peyton comes and starts the season on the bench. I just don't see. I can't see that. You know, I'm getting DNPs for the first five, six, seven games. <laughs> I can't see that. After how he ended last year, that's not happening. Yeah. yeah. So that's my prediction. Start. ESJ. The two, RJ. Three. <laughs> no, because it's it, like this is the problem. I don't know how Pizza's gonna do this, but you and I can. Yeah. At the three. Julius Randle. At the three. Three. Yeah. This is 2019. Interesting. <laughs> At the four. <laughs> Be Morris or or not? Not Morris. Morris, I can't. I can't trust Morris right now with this, with this contract. It's gonna be not, it is going to be nice. Yeah, you're right. And then Mitch it's at the five. I think that's a, a good balance. So of, of Dennis Smith Jr., R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, Knox, and Mitch. Bob. I think it's a good balance of like age and who were, who who the team is actually going to move forward to in the future, right? So, yeah, I would. So, I would agree. I would just flip. The three on the floor. So I'll flip yeah. to the floor and knock to the three. But that, to your point, that's the, if you put right up two K right now, that's what they got to play. I don't. I, the, the, the last two, the last two K yeah. play is like two K fourteen. Oh so. no! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, Melo is still Melo is a champion. Yeah. Right that's what they project the starting. <laughs> right. That's what they project the starting lineup <laughs> to be. That's the junior. They have RJ at the two, Knox at the three, Randall at the four, and Mitch at the five. Uh, I'm gonna keep all mine's easy. Mine's yeah. easy. Want easy. Um. Like you said, I want spacing. I want, like, like you know what you just said, I want the floor to, I want to come out strong. So I want, I'm going EP, I'm going Alpha Payton, I'm going uh, RJ Barrett, 
I'm going Kevin Knox, Julius Randle, and Mitch Robinson. Here's why. We have a guy that's going to be looking for others, so we have an opportunity for Kevin Knox to get his shot. We have an opportunity for um, Mitchell Robinson to do the pick and roll and do what he does best. And then, you know, in situations where we want to go back for the R.J. Barrett and Alfred Payton, it's the same situation where if R.J. Barrett does what he does and likes to go to the paint, he can do that because then next pitch we got Alfred Payton that's going to slow it back down or control the offense rather than having R.J. Barrett and Dennis Smith Jr. doing the same exact thing and no ball movement, no alley oops, no shot for uh, Kevin Knox, no shot for anybody else. So I feel like that would be the best lineup in my opinion. But what I believe is going to happen is the 2K lineup, Dennis Smith Jr., R.J. Barrett. Oh, no, I take it back. What I think is going to happen is going to be Dennis Smith Jr., R.J. Barrett, Marcus Morris, Julius Randle, and Mitch Robinson. I think he's going to put Knox on the bench. So right. I don't want him to. I think that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip y'all minds though. So the starting lineup, I would have. Frank near the team I start now. Frank at the one. <laughs> I start Alonzo at the two. I start RJ at the three, and then I do. Uh, Ran- <laughs> I do Randall at the four, and then Mitch at the five. I like just Frank. You got a mad team, boy. Yeah. My wow. team got size. They will be so mad at you, though. They will be mad, but you know what? They'll play together because their games fit together better. It's like it's in the styles of meshing well. They'll mesh well because there's less guys who want the ball for shots. You only have to really service Randall Trill, RJ, and then Frank and Mitch are, are there to help with defense to help move the ball. And they'll the perfect person to put next to uh, Alonzo Trill is for Kevin. Is, uh, Frank yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I like synergy. That. By far, it works that way. Yeah. Probably, they'll probably do the 2K lineup, and then I'll probably do Morris over Knox. I think Knox should get his chest beat out, and Morris will yeah, keep sounding him until you prove you better than me. So, Knox, I, I wouldn't, I, if, even if RJ doesn't make sense with his jump shot at the two, I'd probably start two guys over RJ and Knox and let them pump the bench. I'm at least starting the season with RJ at the two. You give him a chance to start and lose him? And, and lose him? I'd, I'd rather make him earn the starting spot. Like, if Trier is killing oh, so you're, him, you're start, you're yeah, let, let, the both of them can come off the bench. I don't think oh, so we have to get the two and more than three. Yeah, yeah for sure. Because no, Knox is a better enough. version of what Knox could be. And uh, Alonzo right now has that three ball. Like, I'm sorry. I, don't hate I that. watched that summer league, man. He, that three ball is not there. There's going to be a lot of attempts, but yeah. it's going to be clanking. Who? You talking RJ. RJ. Yeah, RJ's yeah. outside. It's not yeah, there. Trey got it. For a couple of years. Trey's you know? got it, though. He and started, he can handle. Trey started that earthquake, though. He got it. He dunked it through the earthquake, though. Sure no, I, was, I was in my apartment, and that joint was shaking. Uh, we were in the building. We were in the building. We were all in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trey was going so hard, he was like, ha. Ah. Yeah, the earthquake was going on. He said, I'm yeah. taking this dunk before they stop the game. That's yeah. a sign. Yeah, right yeah but I, I go with that lineup because I feel that the, that would mesh well. Yeah. All right, Dave, here you are. All right, this is a lineup that I would like to see at some point this year mm. when RJ has his feet under him. I want to see RJ starting at the one. I was waiting for somebody nice, to say nice, it. Nice. I, I want to see say. Dotson at the two. I love Dotson at the two. Mm-hmm. It won't happen because, I mean, yeah, I don't think Dotson starts too many mouths to feed. Mm-hmm. Thank you, sir. Uh, Knox at the three, uh, and then and Randall and Mitch. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I also want to see Frank run the one at some point too. Yeah. But uh, and also like Trier, I don't want him in the starting lineup because I think he is so tailor. I think he'd be Lou Williams. Like, yeah. I think he's, he's tailor made. First butt off the bench. Yeah. Buckets. Yeah. Spark. Instant uh, spark. Energy. Yeah. Yeah. Small crop. But uh, yeah. but yeah, it's it's gonna be DSJ, RJ, yeah. uh, Marcus Morris, Randall Mitch. Yo, Morris, yeah. Yeah. Morris 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 is gonna start. Chest income training camp. Yo, I right. can't wait. He's gonna be in. And I love, in love it though. Space. I love it. I think. I think. I think <laughs> of all the guys we got, I think Fizz is like probably the most excited that we got Mars. Because he because he like spurned the Spurs and like I think he he's probably like for whatever that's worth. For <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason he did that for. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, where am I going? All right, so what I think is going to be the same. I think it's going to be DSJ, and it's going to be RJ, Morris, Randall, and Mitch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What I would like to happen is definitely DSJ. I'm invested in DSJ. I want to see that return. Somebody has to. Porzingis trade. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I get it. I'm down with it. Be fulfilled into it. We need a full man. It, it, even if it, it doesn't even matter if it's the. The, the Derek Harper mold or it's the Marbury mold. Right. You need that as long as somebody's that stability at the one. And he at can't the be one that team. You know what I'm saying? For years to come. So I'm invested in DSJ. Um I wanna see if Frank if Frank can be that of Frank. Confidence. That's it. Confidence. 
be that same Frank, that three and D guy. Yeah. That could be that extra facilitator on the floor. Yep. You know what I mean? You gotta start with defense. Man. We always get killed on perimeter defense. That's been our kill for the last 20 years. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's I want it only if he's gonna bring that every night. He's right. gonna be that same shot guy thing. Go right. back to the bench and, and keep the We can just actually play a defensive ladder now. I mean, you can put out you can put out Frank, RJ, Marcus Morris, right. um, Todd Gibson, and Mitch. Mm -hmm. that's that's that's, a, that's probably the RJ best can play NLC better defense. defense. I, I, yeah. I, was, yeah. I was impressed. Yeah, I was, I was yeah. Yeah. His off ball is trash, but on ball he can. Yeah, I was, right. I was he impressed by this man. He's impressed me with and his energy level. Like he has, a, he has a strong motor. Like he reminds me of Spreewell, the way he's always or, moving, always running, right, always playing at yeah. 100 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. off ball he'll learn. Every, most of the guys aren't really good off ball when they come out. You can even substitute Dot for RJ, but the point is you got five guys who can play two ways. That's another thing too, and you didn't even touch on. Alfred Payton is a great defender too. Yeah, he's a great defender on ball and. Ball. You can put Frank I see somebody questioning that. They're saying I that heard that's that a false narrative that like they looked at his numbers. No, he's good. He's good defensively. I think he's better than average. I'm saying definitely better. Above average. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say he's not. I'm not going to say he's not. I mean, he's not shutting people down. I mean, if you give him two, Frank's He's not breaking smokes. But you can put Frank at the two. You can put Alfred at the one. The point is that defensively, I'm not going to say he's not. 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 I'm going Morris at the three for the simple fact that I want to trade him at the trade deadline. Showcase. I want to showcase. We got time for him. He's still young. He's still come off the bench. Right. This thing on ice. He needs him, man. Yeah. He's not, I don't know if he's going to have his confidence, but he got time. Sit down. With Morris here in a one-year deal, to me, I want to, number one, to me, he get, he brings more balance to the line. Yeah. High IQ. He's going to play defense. He can't stretch the floor. He can hit the three. He can. Toughness. Iso both. You know what I mean? Another one of your best defenders on the, on the floor with Frank. Yeah. With Mitch at the five. That's three. That's three. Sixty percent. On the perimeter on the wing, and, and, and then the back in the front. Mm -hmm. And then at the four, I'm, I'm going Randy. Yeah. You know, that, that's Mitch. his job. So we're all in agreement. That Mitchell Robinson got started. Yeah, Mitchell was the only one. <laughs> well, only Chris really oh, had shot down Julius, but Mitch was an anonymous one. Yeah, yeah. I didn't shot down Julius. That just that was my wish. That's that your wish, right? That's right, 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 true. That's true. I was waiting for somebody to say Bobby Portis. We won't go after Wooten uh, in G League, man. Yeah, yeah, but y'all saw, saw Wooten Wooten in Wooten Wooten. I'm not following the summer league love with these guys. Wooten 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 Nah, he was complaining. Uh, Summer League, it didn't look Summer, good. Yeah. When, he over -exerts, Summer League gets yeah. when he overexerts, he gets some stupid fouls. Yeah. And he gets tired. He gets tired on the court. Because he's, yeah, so, he's doing so much. Yeah. Over and over. Right, Eric. Who's the five that you want and who's the five that you think is good? I, mean, I think it's a given that the four and the five is Julius and Mitch. You know what I mean? Yeah. The backcourt, I've been going back and forth between Frank and RJ and Frank and um, Dotson. Mm -hmm. I'm back and forth between those two as the back. I like Frank and RJ too. Yeah, if you look, if you look at the three point guards, right? Yeah. None of them have established themselves as shooters. None. Right. But if your life is on the line and you only have them three, you're not gonna choose the one that's in his sixth year and Alfred that still can't shoot. Mm, you're not gonna choose the one that reestablished the jumper over the past summer. Mm. Right. You know what I mean? Uh huh. So. Frank has shown, he has hit plus threes last year before, when KP was still here. Right. He, he hit threes this summer, right. in the summer league. All right. So, I'm fucking with my man Frank at the point guard. All right. That's a given. I like now, that. If you look at the two, three, and four spots, right? The attributes of those characters right there are guys that are ball dominant, yeah. guys that don't really play D, right. guys that don't make the best decisions. That's the two, three, and four spots. So. Frank at the one, even though he's sometimes timid, it just makes sense from a lineup construction standpoint because he's the one that's going to set everybody situated. You know what I'm saying? You could have Dennis at the one, but he run wild like a chicken with his head cut off. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing with Frank, though. The reason why he's timid and the reason why he's so laid back is... And then we saw it this summer is because we, they had a French, a French team, a French staff 
that believed in him believed so that let him play right. They know. He, he, he feels mistakes. like he's no. like yeah. he's like if I mess this thing up, Fizz gonna take me out. Oh damn, he just scored on yeah, my yeah. Like he, he's France ain't gonna deploy. Right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. They ain't gonna revoke the visa and take away French tonight. Right, right, right. Hold on, let me let me. Sorry, I didn't just get to that. Yeah, you're right, you are. Um, so for the three spot, if you got Frank and um. You got Frank and RJ as the backcourt. I'm putting Morris mm -hmm. at the three. Because mm -hmm. yeah. he's another one that I hit the three. And, yeah. you know, I know, what's his name? Knox is just soft to me, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I like his length, I like his, but he's, he's just missing like that. He's missing some kind of grizzly. He's missing ice yeah. so hard, right. right. Now, but the thing is, is that if I go with the other backcourt, um, Frank and Dotson, then I'm taking Morris out. Um, and I'll put it Frank Dawson. RJ? RJ, yeah, I'm moving RJ to the three. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? Because yeah. my whole thing is this. I'm not hold, I'm not with the whole let's pamper him. You know, look at him. <coughs> Yo, he's the third pick. Third pick. We have no one coming regardless. Yeah. And we're not gonna set our sights on somebody coming. That's not, dead and stinky. So long so time. so the thing is is that you know how like low was like, alright, there's no hope. Yeah, it's kind of bleak, but the only hope is that the high picks become something. Yeah. So if that's one of your hopes, then you're going to just throw your third pick out there and be like, yo, you go jump in the fire and learn. You know what I mean? 